Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake stars Jessica Biel, Arlie Ermey, and is directed by Marcus Nispel. So the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was really the start of the whole remake craze uh, because it was so successful and it was really good. But why did it work so well? Let's get into that. First off, the story of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, it's, it's a bit different than the original. There are some different uh, elements to it, but it's basically the same premise. Uh, you have this group of teenagers, they're heading to a concert, but in the remake they actually come upon this hitchhiker. And this is where the story gets really interesting because you can tell that this hitchhiker has been through hell. And so they pick up this hitchhiker, uh, they're good people, they want to make sure that she's okay, and then what does she do? She blows her freaking head off. And right away, you are in this movie. This sets the tone that this movie is going to go. It's not going to be the Texas Chainsaw sequels that had come before that had that tongue-in-cheek, uh, dark humor element to them. No, this one is really serious. But also, I love that scene because it made me curious to see what was the story of the hitchhiker. They could have actually done a whole movie on this hitchhiker and her whole ordeal. It's kind of reminiscent of the very ending of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre where Marilyn Burns escapes and she has just completely lost her mind. That seems to be the state of this hitchhiker. But the dilemma is now they have a dead body on their hands. They have to get to a sheriff. They have to be able to take care of this situation. They can't just leave the dead body on the side of the road. And so they try to find the local authorities, but they are out in the middle of nowhere in hot Texas. And so they end up going to the Hewitt family, which is a horrible mistake, of course. Arlie Ermey, who was so awesome in Full Metal Jacket, he plays the part of the sheriff. Nobody could play the part of Sheriff Hoyt better than Arlie Ermey. As I said in my Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning review, he owns this role. He loves this role. And what's interesting is when he did Full Metal Jacket, uh, Stanley Kubrick actually had another actor in mind. Arlie Ermey was really just a set advisor. He was a military consultant, but he was so damn convincing in the role because, you know, that was his job that he ended up getting the role. So he's great at playing these authoritative type roles. And he was perfect for the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He is one of the best parts of the movie. And it's been a while since I've seen this one. I forgot how good he is. I got a taste of it in the beginning, but in this one, he is a, a force. Pull the fucking trigger! Fuck you! He is just as important, if not more important, than Leatherface himself. And I think he is one of the big reasons why this remake works so well and stands out as one of the best remakes of all horror movies. Now, let's talk about Leatherface. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequels, like I said earlier, made Leatherface almost a joke. Some of these were, were entertaining movies, but he wasn't really that scary anymore. He was scary in the first movie. And this movie, Marcus and this Bell, made Leatherface scary again. And that is due to two things. Andrew Bernarski, who played Leatherface, did an excellent job. And also the cinematography of Daniel Pearl, who was the cinematographer for the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All the night scenes in this movie are just lit beautifully. They are creepy. They are ominous. They look like what a horror movie should look like on its best day. Also, the acting is very good in this movie. Fronted by Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel really carries this movie. And I've often thought that actors in horror movies, some horror movies, don't get the appreciation that they deserve. A lot of these scenes, a lot of these characters are hard to pull off. Jessica Biel is a perfect example. She really has to lose herself in this movie. There are so many emotional scenes where she just has to completely break down. Without an actor that can, that can pull off that type of performance, then the movie doesn't feel real. This movie felt real. As a matter of fact, at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you are exhausted, like in the original, the remake as well. It works so perfectly. Also, this was Platinum Dunes, uh, one of their first movies, if not their first movie. And this is their best, really. They've done some, some not so good movies along the way. They always have great cinematography. They always have great eye candy and Jessica Biel serves that purpose. But to me, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake is a very solid horror movie. It's so good that I have to give it Trapped on an Island. Still to this day, when I, I, when I hear debates about the best remakes, I always hear Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. It kind of set the bar uh, for this current age. So anyway, what are your thoughts on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake? Looking forward to hearing them. Also, if you want to talk more horror, make sure you join the Killer Flicks Facebook group where we talk horror all day, every day. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, and drum dumb out.